Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make the hats you saw in the picture. Matching his and hers hats. But they're both the same. So if you just want to make a hers hat or a his hat. I mean, they're made identical. I just made them in two different colors. But um, it's got some post stitches and some puff stitches with some single crochet rows in between. It starts, we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. And then at the top, it is gathered up here. To close it it's actually not really hard as long as you're familiar with uh, front post and back post stitches you should be able to make this hat so let's go ahead and get started on it okay for this project I am using a lion brand scarfy yarn it is a bulky number five acrylic wool blend um, you don't have to use this brand any bulky five yarn will work for this hat um, there's 312 yards in a skein and one skein will be enough to make a hat um, you might be able to get two out of a skein I'm not quite certain since I'm using two different colors but you might be able to come close to get two but I know one will make at least uh, one skein will make at least one hat um, and I'm using black and hot pink for the hers and his is cranberry and black but of course you can use any color that you wish and then I'm going to be using a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook okay remember it's the same hat it's just it's a unisex hat it's it'll fit a man or a woman so um, regardless if you're doing them a man or, or a woman it's the exact same just follow along with me exactly the same and I do want to take just one second to ask you not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you look in the description box of this video or any of my videos, you'll see an automatic subscribe button. And then you'll never miss, if you click on that, you'll never miss any of my updates or any of my tutorials or giveaways. So what you want to do is start off with a chain of 60. Now once you get your chain of 60 done, we're going to follow it down without twisting our chain. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Now remember, we're starting from the bottom of our hat up. Just like that. Now we're not going to count that as row one. What we do now is going to count as row one. So the chain does not count as row one. So row one starts right now. And it starts with a chain of three. Which counts as a double crochet here. And for the rest of the pattern. So we went ahead and did our chain three. Now we're going to go along and we're going to work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around the ring. Just like that. So one double every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round one and now you should have 60 double crochets. And we're gonna go ahead and end with the slip stitch into our beginning chain three. Remember that chain three counts as a double. So go ahead and slip stitch right there into the top of it. Now we're gonna chain three again. One, two, three and now we're going to be working um, front post double crochets and back post double crochets so we're going to go ahead and yarn over or we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch so you go right around the post of it like that to where the post is on the front of your hook and then go ahead and do your double crochet Next one is going to be a back post double crochet. So you yarn over and you go around the next stitch around the post of it from the back of the from the back of your hook like that. That way the post is on the back of your hook. And then you go ahead and do your double crochet. Back post is a little trickier than the front post. But neither one of them are hard once you get the hang of it. Now the next one is going to be a front post double crochet. So go ahead and double crochet right around the post 
the front of the post of the next stitch and then a back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around for round two front post double crochet and then back post double crochet front post double and back post double all the way around until you get back to the beginning and as you can see you'll see better when you get more rows you're starting to make posts so go ahead and repeat that pattern until you get right back here to the beginning okay i have made it to the end of round two and you should have ended in a front post double crochet and you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into the top of your fur or beginning chain three and you still should have 60 stitches now what we're going to do for rounds three and four we're just going to repeat round two so we're just going to round three we're going to chain three and front post double crochet around the first stitch and back post around the next front post double around the next and back post double around the next so we're just for rows three and four we're just repeating what we did for row two the front post back post double crochet repeat front post and then back post and you want to repeat that all the way around when you get back to the beginning 60 stitches and with the slip stitch in your beginning chain three then round four you just repeat it again so i'm going to go ahead and finish round three and four doing my post front front post and back post stitches and i'll meet back up with you when i get to the end of round four okay i have made it to the end of round four and i still have my 60 stitches we're going to have 60 60 stitches for the whole hat so what we're going to do to end round four is just end it with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three like that now we're going to do rows a couple rows of single crochet so we're going to chain one and we're going to go right back into that same stitch Right here that we just slip stitched into in single crochet and now I'm going to put one single crochet into the top of every stitch so I'm going to go right into the top of the next one single crochet the next one and I'm going to do this all the way around So one single crochet in the top of every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I have made it to the end of round five. 60 stitches. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not the chain one that you did, but the first single crochet. Now for round six, what we're going to do is chain one and we're just going to repeat round five again. So we're going to put one single crochet right back into the very first stitch. And we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the beginning. So round six is just a repeat of round five. One single every stitch all the way around until you get back to your starting point.
Okay, I've made it to the end of round six, 60 stitches still, and you wanna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your beginning or your very first single crochet, like that. Now round seven is going to be a puff stitch row. So this is how we're gonna, we're gonna start off with the chain one. Now this is how we do our puff, and we're gonna work it right here into this very first stitch that we slip stitched into. So we're gonna yarn over and go into that stitch and drop a loop. And you wanna do that four times. So that's one, two, three, and four. And you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through all nine loops and chain one. So that's how you do the puff. Now we're gonna skip one stitch and puff into the next. So we're gonna yarn over, skip this one, and go into the next one and puff. So there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on my hook. Yarn over and go through all nine loops and chain one. And we're just gonna kind of repeat that pattern all the way around. We're going to skip one and puff into the next. So I'm gonna skip this one and yarn over and puff into the next one, two, three, four, nine loops, yarn over and go through all nine, and chain one. Again, skip one stitch and puff into the next. Nine loops, yarn over, go through all nine, and chain one. So I'm gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. I'm gonna skip one and puff. Skip one and puff. Make sure you chain one after every puff to lock it. So again, I'm just gonna skip one and puff into the next. And chain one. Skip one, puff into the next. Chain one, skip one and puff, skip one and puff, all the way around until you get back to your starting point. Okay, I have made it to the end of round seven, and you should have had a puff here, and then you chain one after that puff, and you should have one stitch left to skip. Go ahead and skip that. Now we're gonna end round seven by slip stitching into the top of the first puff, which is this little spot right here. So we wanna go right over, all the way over there, and go into that little spot and slip, slip stitched into it. Not this big space, but that little spot on top of the puff there, or on the side of the puff. And now you'll have 30 puffs. I know I said every row would have 60 stitches now, but I meant every row except the puff stitches. So you'll have 30 puffs now at the end of this row. So what we're gonna do now for um, round eight, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna do a row of single crochet. So we're gonna go right back into that same stitch there on that puff there that we just slip stitched into and single crochet. And now I'm gonna put one single crochet into the next chain space, so right through the space. And then a single into the top of the next puff, which is, is if you pull them apart, you see it right there. You need to go into that stitch right there. And then a single crochet into the next chain space, so right through here. And a single crochet into the top of the next puff, so pull it apart like that and you'll be able to see it really easy. Single crochet right through the next chain space. 
in the top of the next puff. And we're going to repeat this all the way around back to the beginning. One single crochet into every chain space and into the top of every puff until we get back to our starting point. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round eight. I did a single crochet into that last puff, and then I wanna make sure and do a single crochet into that last chain space. And I'm gonna end by slip stitching into my very first single crochet. 60 stitches is what you should have, like that. Now for round nine, I'm just gonna repeat round eight by putting one single crochet in every stitch. I'm gonna chain one, go back into that very first stitch, and single crochet. I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Just like that. So one single every stitch around until you get back to the beginning okay i've made it to the end of round nine slip you want to end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet and i used to you should still have 60 stitches so now all we're gonna do is repeat rows one through nine one more time so uh, we just so we'll just start by repeating row one, which was just a chain three, and it was one double crochet in every stitch. So we're on round ten, and we're just repeating round one again. Like that. So, repeat rows 1 through 10, or 1 through 9, I'm sorry, we're on round 10 now. So, it's just a double crochet row, and then it's uh, 3 rows of the front post and back post, 2 rows of single crochet, puff stitch row, 2 rows of single crochet. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. I'm going to repeat rows 1 through 9. The complete repeat one more time and I'll meet back up with you after I get that complete repeat finished okay I have done my repeat of rows 1 through 9 and now I am finishing round 18 so I got 60 stitches and I'm just going to end with a slip stitch round 18 into my first single crochet so that's what it kind of looks like right now now what we're going to do is chain three and now we're just going to work one for round 19 is one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Just like this. So round 19 one double in every stitch till you get back here to the beginning and i'll meet you right back over here in just a second okay i've made it to the end of round 19 60 stitches and with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three now for rounds 20 and 21 they're going to be the same we are going to chain three and we're going to do our front post, back post, double crochet, repeat. So we're going to go ahead and do a front post, double crochet into the next stitch. And then a back post, double crochet into the next. Front post double. And back post double. front post and back post 
and we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning and at the end of round 20 you'll still have 60 stitches and then you just do it again for round 21 so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish round 20 then I'm going to do 21 the exact same way and I'll meet back up with you after I'm finished with round 21 and then we'll sew the top up all right I have made it to the end of round 21 now we're not going to do any more uh, rounds now we just want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our beginning chain three now we're going to leave a real pretty long tail to sew um so go ahead and pull kind of a long tail through i always like to have extra just in case so you know three or four feet that way you don't run out that's probably too much but it's better to have too much than not enough now we're going to sew this top together. So you want to go ahead and get your yarn needle out. So right now it doesn't really look like anything, but it's like a square or a, a cylinder, I guess. So I'm all tangled up here. What we want to do is go, I kind of just go um, right here is where I left off. I go like from the back, top of the back post to go right through the top of it. Pull your yarn through and then around the front post and through the top of the back post again of the next back post and then come from behind back through the top of the next back post this doesn't really have to be exact it's kind of weaving it through and then around the front post here through the top of the next back post and then right around over here come from the behind here back through the next back post over the front post and back through the back post I'm just going to do this all the way around back through the next back post like there from the behind there just like that we're going to do this until we get back to our starting point okay i've made it all the way around back to my starting point here and just kind of come back out the same stitch that you started in. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Just now, what I do is just take it and you just kind of got to pull it and gather it all up. Do it kind of slow, that way it doesn't wrinkle up and stuff too much. Like that. And then we're going to sew it together. So make sure you pull it really tight. Okay, then once you get it pulled really tight, I just kind of take it and just sew it up a little bit, the hole up a little bit, while I'm hiding my tail. Just make sure that it's tight. I accidentally broke my yarn off camera, so <laughs> that's, why, that's why there's a little knot there. I had to tie it back on. I'm going to do it again, too, if I'm not careful. But yeah, just sew up the hole here at the top. If you pull it tight enough, there won't be much of a hole there to sew. But just do it kind of back and forth while you're hiding your tail. Pull it tight. Pull it tight. I'm doing pretty good, so doesn't come undone I hate it when you're working on something and you break your yarn in half I love scarfy yarn but it is easy to break and it does get tank if you it's hard to take it out when you mess up that's for sure but it does make a pretty pretty project I can look past all those flaws because the yarn is so pretty. I'm 
All right, that's probably. I don't think that's coming undone now. I would say. Okay, and you just go ahead and clip that yarn off. Now, one other thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go around this bottom edge real quick with a row of single crochet. So I'm gonna flip it upside down like this. And I'm gonna start somewhere back here on the back side. I'm just gonna go in any stitch, drop a loop. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna chain one. And I'm gonna go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch along the bottom edge of the hat here just to clean up that uh, that edge down there make it look a little bit more presentable I guess so it's just one single crochet in every stitch here along the bottom until you get back around to the to your uh, starting point See how that cleans that up nicely. So all the way back over to here. Okay, once you make it back around, you want to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. You should have 60 stitches. If you don't, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm not even going to count mine. As long as it's close to that, it's not that big of a deal. This scarfie is all different lengths today. And that's all right. I got it to work out. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide the rest of my tails real quick. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. There's the top all gathered up. Both of them. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, also, don't please don't forget to check me out on my uh, Facebook. Uh, I have an open chat page. Lots of nice people on there. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Everybody gets on there, shows off their work. Everybody's very helpful and nice. Um, it's a great page to be on. So yeah, if you want to check that out, the link to that will be below. And don't forget to check out all my other tutorials also. I have hundreds of them. And until next time, have a good day.